It's five to five, and it's... <laughs> By gum, some of you have given your ages away there, I'll tell you. That's <laughs> lovely. Oh, stroll down memory lane. Indeed, of course, it is Friday. But it is, in point of fact, the first programme in a brand new series of The Price is Right. We're back! <laughs> We're back with new games and new ideas, one of which is this, Denise. Let's have the mascot. There we are. This is our delightful, isn't he lovely? Our delightful mascot, his name is William. He's a teddy bear, as you can see. And every one of the contestants who enters contestant row will not only receive our Price is Right Olympic-style gold medal, but also this delightful souvenir, which we know will provide them with many happy memories of the times that they spent with us, whether they leave contestant row or not. There we are. Thank you, Denise. That's our teddy bear. Well, <laughs> well. Elaine. All the way from Sheffield. Yes. You already have a mascot, as I can see. Very nice, too. Yes, indeed. I don't think I need to ask where you work, do I? <laughs> no, tell me where you work. George Bassett's Licorice All Sorts. Absolutely right. <laughs> Perish the thought that we should ever advertise anything. <laughs> Ken, you come from London, is that right? That's right. <laughs> Good lad. What do you do for a living? Um, work for the London Electricity Board. The LEB! That's right. I know it well. <laughs> Elizabeth from Ravenshead. What do you do for a living? I'm a housewife. A housewife, so you've got a full-time job. That's right. And you, Sydney, all the way from Warwickshire. <laughs> what do you do? Farmer. A farmer, sir. Yeah. A very worthwhile profession. We are all very welcome, and we want you to attend closely to the description of this. A gold leaf beveled mirror. Instant beauty for your hall or living room. An elegant classic mirror with beveled edges, antique mirrors around, and a real gold leaf frame. There we are, one beveled mirror. I require the price of that mirror. You get one bid each, and whoever bids the nearest without going over wins the mirror and joins me to play the first of our brand new games, Matchmaker. But if you go over, you bust. However, this can be yours if the price is right. Elaine, what is your bid on that mirror? Ninety-eight pounds. Thank you, Elaine. Ken, what do you think from the LEB? Ninety-five. Ninety-five pounds, says Ken. Elizabeth? One oh five. One hundred and five, says Elizabeth, the housewife. Sydney, what do you think? Eighty. Eighty. Ninety? Eighty. Eighty, I'm sorry. Eighty pounds, says Sydney. Right. The price we're looking for is one hundred and seventy-five pounds. Elizabeth! <laughs> from Ravenshead. Right. Very nice. You look gorgeous. You've won that delightful mirror, my dear, and we want you to go home as we play Matchmaker, one of our new games, with one of these six prizes. A colour television, a microwave, a hi-fi system with compact displayer, a set of stacking pans, a backgammon set, and a silver tray. <laughs> This stylish color television has eight channel selection. This super streamlined microwave does everything from scrambling eggs to defrosting the joint. This hi-fi system has three band radio, amplifier with graphic equalizer, tape deck, turntable, and an integral compact disc player. A set of four quality saucepans made from enameled cast iron with wooden handles. And you need never be bored with this. A superbly made backgammon set in its own burgundy leather case with leather and brass counters and solid brass hinges. And this smart silver tray has open work sides, rope pattern handles, and a delicate engraving on the base. There, what about that? One of those six prizes can be yours. We're gonna play matchmaker, as I've said before. Six prizes and 16 doors. Each of those prizes is represented twice behind 12 of those 16 doors. The other four doors represent absolutely nothing. Now, when you call out a number, I shall open the appropriate door, call out another number, and I'll open that door. If what is revealed, Elizabeth, makes a match, that is the prize that you have won. If it's twice nothing, that is what you have won, regretfully. However, if it doesn't make a match, we'll keep on opening and closing doors until we hopefully do make a match. Now, there's one very important rule. You cannot ask me to reopen a door that has already been revealed and shut again unless it is in an attempt to make a match. 
In which case, if it does, you've won, and if it doesn't, you've lost. All right? Mm -hmm. Good. Elizabeth, give me a number. Three. Three. There we are. Three. You oh. <laughs> You are now halfway to winning a compact disc player. Give me another number. Twelve. Well. Well. Backgammon set, compact disc player, not a match. So we say farewell temporarily to the compact disc player. That is gone, but not forgotten, and it will pay you to remember exactly where it is if you discover the other half of the disc player, all right? You're now halfway to winning a backgammon set. Think of another one. Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen, right. Saucepans, not a match again. So we say farewell to the backgammon set. And we have the saucepans. You're halfway to winning those. Give me another number. Six, Six we think. Right. Six. Ah, 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 ah. That represents nothing. That's obviously not a match. So we say farewell temporarily to the saucepans. Uh, you are now halfway to winning absolutely nothing. nothing. Yes, indeed, Elizabeth. Fourteen. Fourteen, we think. A silver tray. Good. Well, we can thankfully get rid of that. Now, you're halfway to winning a silver tray. Seven. Seven, right. Seven. A microwave. Now then, there's another lovely prize. Halfway to winning a microwave. We get rid of the silver tray. Number one. Number one. Number one. Color TV. Now, I hope you're remembering where all these things are, are you? Now, that is not a match, so we say farewell temporarily to the microwave. Number ten. Number ten, right. Halfway to winning a colour television set, number ten. The microwave, now. You can either go for the microwave, or what do you want to do? We're going to close that one. Number three. Now, now. This is it. This is it. Pardon? Number seven. You're going to ask me to reopen number seven. Elizabeth, go over and have a chat with Carol. Bless you. Elizabeth, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much indeed. Good evening. Lovely lady. Good. One empty space in contestant's row now to be filled by Steve Lockley. Come on down. Hello, Steve. Hello there. Very, very good to see you. You come from Tewkesbury, it says here. Yes. What do you do there? I'm a plastic extrusion machinist. What? A UPVC extrusion machinist. Thank you very much indeed. I think I understood you better the first time. <laughs> very nice to see you, Steve. Welcome to Contestants Row. You're all welcome. In fact, you have to give me your assessment as to the conceivable price of this. A Japanese tea set. <laughs> Capture the elegance of the Orient next time you make tea. This classic tea set from Japan comprises six bowls with gold leaf rims and a traditional bamboo handled teapot. Steve, you are the newest tenant to the row. What is your bid on the Japanese tea set? 95 pounds. 95 pounds, says Steve. Thank you very much. Sydney, what do you think? 120. 120, says Sydney. Bless you. Elaine. 75. 75 pounds, says Elaine. I wonder what Ken thinks. 85 pounds. 85 pounds, says Ken. <laughs> That's a great sound, and as you very well know, it means that somebody has bid the exact price that is on this card, and to that person we give 100 pounds. <laughs> we do. The price we're looking for is 75 pounds, Elaine. <laughs> isn't this fun? It really is good, isn't it? Oh Great. dear, there you are. There's your hundred pounds. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> you married, Elaine? Yes. You are married. Yes. Is, is your husband here? No. No, he's not here. It's a ladies' outing, is it? Yeah. Good. Well, very nice too. <laughs> so it should be. We won. You won that Japanese tea set. That is yours, Elaine. And we also want to have the opportunity to deliver to your house this. 
a dishwasher. Throw away your penny and tea towels and let this super dishwasher do the washing up. It has four programs, no noise output, and can wash, rinse, and dry up to 12 place settings. We're going to play cliffhanger, which there's the name. You can't miss it. That gentleman is a climber. That is the mountain slope. And the object of the game, as you very well know, Elaine, is to prevent the gentleman from falling off the mountain slope into the abyss below. And this is how we do it. We're going to show you three gift items, one at a time, and in each case, ask you for the price of that item. If you're right, he stays where he is. If you're wrong, for each pound difference between your price and the actual price, that fellow's going to climb one step of the mountain. There are 25 steps on that mountain. If at the end of the game he's still on the slope, and hasn't fallen off, we will give you that delightful dishwasher and, of course, the three items. Right? Mm -hmm. Elaine, listen very carefully to this description. End your meal with a flourish. This smooth wooden cheese board with a glass cover will keep your cheese at the perfect temperature. Now then. 20 pounds. 20 pounds, says Elaine. Is that right or wrong? It's wrong. How wrong are you? Not bad, not bad. May we see the correct price? Please, Judy, there you are, 25 pounds. You have 20 pounds left, or 20 steps, rather, left, with which to play. Now, listen to this description. This beautiful dish has a silver-plated base and an exquisite pearly interior. Right. One delightful item there. What would your price be on that? 30 pounds. 30 pounds, right. OK. 30 pounds, is that right or wrong? It's wrong. How wrong are you? That's going backwards. <laughs> wow, that's wonderful. Please, Judy, show us. Yes. 33 pounds now. 17 steps between you and victory. Listen to this description. This aristocratic whiskey decanter is made from pure lead crystal and has a dramatic starburst design. Now, think very carefully what is your price, Elaine, on that item. 55. 55 pounds. Right or wrong? It's wrong. How wrong are you? Well, only just five gun. Only five steps left to play with. Well, you've won the dishwasher, you've won those three gift items, and you've won a chat with Judy. She's a delightful girl, and so are you. Isn't this good? I like it when they win. Thank you, Denise. Joanna Sherwin! Come on down! You are our next contestant on the right to drive. Hello, Joanna. All the way from Cumbria. Yes. Right, there we are, Joanna. Welcome to all of you. And please, oh, those are delightful. Please give me your price on these. A pair of beautiful flower prints. Remind yourself of the garden, even when it's frosty outside, with these two charming flower prints. Representing the months of January and February, they'll banish the winter blues. There, they really are great. Joanna, your bid on the flower print. 88 pounds. 18. Eight. 88. All the eights, 88. Ken, what do you think? 106 pounds. 106 pounds, thank you. How about you, Steve? 120. 120 pounds, says Steve. Sydney. 80. 80. Thank you very much indeed, Sydney. The price we're looking for is 128 pounds. Steve! <laughs> The extrusion expert. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm sure, well, you look exactly as I've always imagined an extrusion expert would look. Now, if you win this next game, you will be spending a few delightful days, Steve, 
here. Shake off the winter lethargy with a week skiing holiday in the beautiful resort of Ladino in the Italian Alps. Your prize includes all the equipment you'll need to get you whizzing down the slopes. You'll be staying in a luxury chalet-style hotel with fabulous views and all the time in the world to get a deep suntan and enjoy all the pleasures of skiing. There's something for everyone at Livigno. Plenty of activities based at your hotel and a sophisticated nightlife with discos and restaurants catering for every taste. So, enjoy life to the full on this fabulous Price is Right week in the Italian Alps. You'd like to go there, wouldn't you? Yes, I'm sure you would. Well, I hope you Given the chance, we're going to play three in a row. As you can see, we have a board there, Steve, with the numbers one to nine inclusive. There is a question connected with each number which you must answer. And all those questions are connected with those items over there. Right? To win the game, and of course go to Livigno, you must get three correct answers in a row, either across there, there or there, horizontally, vertically, Steve, there, there or there, or diagonally, there or there. You call out a number, I will ask you the question. We'll carry on doing that until you've either got three correct answers in a row, in which case you're off to Lavinia, three incorrect answers in a row, in which case you stay in Tewkesbury, <laughs> or you run out of options and you have absolutely nowhere to go. Understood? Good. Give me a number. Five. 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 Good. There we are. Let's hear about the ship's clock. If you're all at sea when telling the time, try this for size. A brass ship's clock with Roman numerals and a second hand. One ship's clock, priced there at £44. I want to know, Steve, is that price true or false? True. True, we think. Please tell us, Judy. Put us out of our misery. It is true. Very good. Now, now then, look. I don't know whether you worked this out for yourself, but you've given yourself every single option in the book. Did, did you work it out? Yeah. Of course you did. <laughs> He's surprised that I even doubted that. Good. Well, give me another number. Seven. Seven, right? Seven. Let's hear about the hairdryer. This snazzy hairdryer, for those in a hurry, belts out a mighty 1,200 watts of heat. One hairdryer, this time the question is different. 15 pounds, it says there. That is not the correct price, I promise you. I want to know if the real price for that hairdryer is higher or lower. Lower. Lower, we think. Please tell us, Cindy, is it lower? It is lower. It is lower, right. Well, you're two-thirds of the way to, do a, a, to a diagonal. Get that out in a minute. Another question. Another um, number. Three. Three. There we are. One wine rack. We'd like to hear about that. Here's a sturdy bottle rack in a cheerful red enamel. Again, it's the same kind of question. 19 pounds is the price on that wine rack, and it is incorrect. I want to know if the real price is higher or lower. Lower. Lower, we think. Good. Well, tell us about the wine rack. It is lower. And you've won. That's marvellous. Oh, you are? Yes, we're going off to Rubino, yes. You did it far too quickly. We like to get some of the things wrong and get the drama built up. But no, you, you, you're going to Livigno. And before you do that, you're going to have a chat with Judy. See you later, Steve. Wonderful. Good. We now know who the first three contestants are going to be featuring in Showcase Showdown. Who will join them? Join us in a few moments and we'll all find out. See you. Make your way to your rightful and proper place, my darling. 
all the way from South End, waving to your friends. <laughs> South End on sea. That's right, yes. Ah, great. You're very welcome to the row. Please, will you all give me your opinions as to the price of this? A seagull light. Recall the romance of the seashore with this graceful ceramic lamp made in the design of two seagulls wheeling in the sky. There you are, one seagull light, and I want the price of that. And Pauline, yours is the first bid. 60 pounds. 60 pounds, thank you, 6060. Sydney, what do you think? 40. 40, says Sydney. Thank you very much. 55. Joanna. 55, thank you very much. 55 pounds, all the fives. Ken? 59. 59 pounds, says Ken. Thank you very much indeed. And that's the... Of course, as you very well know, means that somebody else has won £100. The price we're looking for is £59.10. <laughs> Good. All the way from South London. That's right. Good lad. Yeah. Good lad. You've won that delightful lamp, and we want you, Ken, very much to go home, if you play this game correctly, and it's not too easy, with all three of these items. A food processor, a wet and dry vacuum cleaner, and a revolving bookcase. <laughs> Experienced cook or just a beginner, this clever food processor will help you get the best out of all your cooking. It'll chop, grate, slice, and mix. The next best thing to a maid of all work this wonder machine will vacuum up dust, leaves, and soap suds inside or out. And it'll even shampoo your carpets. Your favorite books or video cassettes are always to hand with this handsome revolving bookshelf. It's made from highly polished dew wood with a pale wood inlay. Good. Now then, Ken, you can win all three of those prizes. But this game goes at a heck of a lick. It's called time play. I want the price of those three items, one at a time, in 30 seconds. The clock starts with your first bid, and we start with the least expensive of the items, which is the food processor, all right? I can help you with two words, higher or lower. Your bid's too high, I'll say lower. Too low, I'll say higher. Eventually and hopefully, within the time, we'll arrive at the price of the food processor. We'll go straight on to assess the price of the vacuum cleaner, and then if there's any time left, we'll have a crack at the revolving bookcase, all right? right? Good. Ken, just the food processor to start with. I'm bringing you here because they can get a nice shot of both of us. I think. Yes, they have. Now then, just the food processor, your first bid. 65. Higher. 67. Higher. 68. Higher. 69. Higher. 70. Higher. 80. Higher. 85. Higher. 90. Lower. 89. Yes, now the vacuum cleaner. 78 higher 80 higher 90 higher 92 higher 100 higher 110 higher 120 higher 130 higher 139 lower 38 lower 130 125 higher 120 125 higher 130 yes i think you just got that in i think you just got that in it's not the easiest game in the world is it very, very difficult, because you're really under pressure. I know that, Ken. Still, you have won the food processor. Please tell us about the food processor, Jilly. Yes, of course, 89 pounds. And Cindy, the vacuum cleaner, 133 pounds. Yes, which you just about got in in time before the dreaded sound. And that is the prize. You did not get 180 pounds. Thank you very much indeed, Judy. Two out of the three, not bad, is it? Nice. Good. Good lad. Over you go. Go and have a chat with our delightful Jilly. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, it's all going well. And uh, for the second time, and I'll explain why later, Ken Foster. Come on now. One extra test on the price of life. We... <laughs> We said farewell to one Ken Foster and we're saying hello to another Ken Foster and there's a very good reason for that. There are two guys called Ken Foster here in the audience and they both came tearing down at the beginning of the show. Of course, you wouldn't have seen that at all. But we did and we decided to put the second Ken Foster in cold storage until now. What do you do for a living, Ken Bil Foster number two? Builder. You're a builder. Good. Well, you've certainly built well tonight <laughs> and we want you, all of you please, to bid on this. A wooden wall clock. 
this charming clock features an antique botanical print in blue and green, plus easy-to-read Roman numerals. It'll look lovely simply anywhere. Ten number two, what would your bid be on that? Sixty-five. Sixty-five pounds, thank you, Ken. Pauline. Seventy-five pounds. Seventy-five pounds, says Pauline. How about Sydney? One hundred and ten. One hundred and ten pounds, says Sydney. Eighty-five. Eighty-five pounds, says Joanna. The price we are looking for is one hundred and twenty-five pounds, Sydney! <laughs> Come here, sir. Very good. There we are, Sydney. We're going to play punch a bunch. When you punch through any one of those pound signs, Sydney, and you're certainly going to punch through one, I will discover an IOU for anything from £25 pounds to £250, pounds, which we will honour. There are five IOUs for £250, pounds, Sydney, one in each row somewhere. There are also five for naught. And if you locate one of those, then I'm afraid for you, Sydney, the game is over. Now, you have won the right to one punch because you've automatically won a one-bid game. We're going to give you the chance to win up to three more punches. Listen to these descriptions. A rum top, a radio, and a pair of dressing table bowls. If you like your fruit salad with a bit of a kick, try this rum top. Fill it up with fruit, top it up with sugar and rum, and voila, a delicious and easy dessert. Style is everything in this streamlined radio. The controls are hidden neatly away, but when you lift the front flap, you'll find three-way bands to choose from. A pair of delightful china bowls for all your buttons, coins, and other odds and ends. These two are decorated with china grapes and leaves. There you are, Sydney. Three puzzle prizes there. All right. All incorrectly priced. I want to know in each case whether the correct price should be higher or lower. Each correct answer wins you the item and one more punch. The room topped, that is not £25, as it says there. Do you think the real price should be higher? <laughs> higher, says Sydney. Please tell us, yes, it's higher. There, you've got two punches and you've won yourself a rum top. Think of the joys you can have with that. How about the radio? £29, higher or lower? Lower. Lower, says Sydney. And you're right there. You now have a radio. You can take that out in the tractor and have a great time. How about these delightful china items? £23. Higher. Higher. Higher, says Sydney. Yes! That's very good. You've got a very good eye for prices, haven't you? That's wonderful. You've won those three items. You've won three more punches, making four in all. Sydney, punch through any four of those pound signs. Any four you like. You'll have to give it a real go, yes. I'll find out the IOU later. And the next one. Yes, good. He's doing his karate chop here. That's right, there's the third and the fourth. Thank you very much indeed. Of course, I've no idea which was first. Yes, I have. This one. You won yourself three delightful one-bit items, and I'm very glad you have won those puzzle items, because that is what you can't do. I'm terribly sorry, but that is the rule. That is the absolute rule. The next one, I'm here to tell you, contains an IOU for £100, but you located that naught first, so that, I'm afraid, is what you win. Had you punched through that one, just to prove that we do have such things lying about, there is an IOU for £250. Sydney, however, all is not lost, because you're going to be in Showcase Showdown. You might win your way through to the Showcase final. You've won those three items there, and look at this lovely girl coming to have a chat with you. Oh. Carol! Good! <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Denise. And Julie Biggs, sir! Come on down! Julie, pretty lady, all the way from Oxford. That's right. Good. What do you do for a living, Julie, if anything? I work for a bank. You work for a bank? That's Which right. NatWest. The NatWest. Good bank. Good bank. Please concentrate mightily as to the conceivable price of this little object. A mini jukebox cassette player. Your very own jukebox. This snazzy little cassette player is a replica of the world's most famous jukebox. 
Just like the real thing, except you don't have to put money in it. Just your favorite music cassettes. There, now then. Julie? 85. 85 pounds is Julie's very carefully considered opinion. What do you think, 74. Joanna? 74. 74? Thank you very much indeed, Joanna. Ken, number two. 75. 75? Oh, I see. Right. Now, how about you, Pauline? 90. Pardon? 90. 90 pounds, says Pauline. <laughs> this is very, very good. I mean, this is that we'll be running out of ready money soon. Once again, we owe one of these contestants in contestant row 100 pounds. The price we're looking for is 90 pounds. Pauline! <laughs> very good. £100, there's no need to check it because it is all there. Now, Pauline, brace yourself, because if you win the next game, you will quite definitely be riding around the streets of South End on Sea, God help it, on that. On Moped! If you're fed up with traffic jams and can't face the slog of a push bike, here's the answer. A silly little moped to run you around town. With its comfortable handling and a thrifty little engine, it's the perfect solution to commuter blues. Oh, Pauline, that's wonderful. Th I must tell you, as we play Permutation, which is the third of our brand new games, Permutation is the name of the game, that that scooter is priced at a three-figure sum. And that three-figure sum, Pauline, is made up of a permutation of four of those six prices. Those are the prices, 50 pounds, 200 pounds, 15 pounds, 100 pounds, 75 pounds, and 20 pounds. We're going to give you a starting price, 200 pounds, and there it is. Now, to win that scooter and terrify the good residents of Southend-on-Sea, <laughs> what you have to do is to select three of the remaining five prices, the three prices that you think when added to the starting price, will form the price of that scooter. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Then give me one of the prices you're going to choose. 100 pounds. 100 pounds, right. Your running total is now 300 pounds. And another one. 50 pounds. 50 pounds. There we are. Your running total is now 350 pounds. And a final one. 15. 15 pounds. 1515. Your final total is now 365 pounds. Is that right or wrong? It's wrong. But that is not, Pauline. That is not the end of the game, because we're going to give you one more chance, one more permutation. I must tell you that your figure of 365 pounds is too low. Too low. Bearing that in mind, you are now at liberty to change any of those four numbers with either or both of the remaining two up to two changes. Good. Which one of those are you going to get rid of first? The 15 goes. The 15 goes. Now the 75. There, your running total is now 350. 75 pounds. Your running total is now oh, that, 425 pounds. Now, you can either leave it like that or you can go for one final change. What do you want to do? Yes. Right, all right. So the 50 goes. Your running total is now 375 pounds. And... 15. The 15 or the 20? 15. The 15. The 15. Your running total is now 390 pounds. Is that right or wrong? It's wrong. No, you see, what you should have done, my sweetheart, is to do the 20. 395 pounds is the correct answer. Never mind, it doesn't matter. It's probably safer, actually. And we will see you later in Showcase Showdown. You might be in our Showcase final. It's great to see you. Go and have a chat. Very good.
Well, we now know who the six finalists are going to be in Showcase Showdown. Unfortunately, however, we have to say farewell to the three contestants. We have nine contestants who are called down. Only six reach the final, of course. There are the three tenants of contestant row, each with their superb and lovely mementos of our show. Will you give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? They are lovely. Cheers. Six contestants left. Two will go forward to our showcase final. Who will they be? Join us in a few moments and we'll all find out. See you. In tonight's showcase showdown are Elizabeth Caborn from Ravenshead in Nottingham, Elaine Godfrey here from Sheffield, Steve Lockley from Tewkesbury, Gloucestershire, Ken Foster from London, Sydney Colwood from Meriden in Warwickshire, and Pauline Barwell from Southend-on-Sea. Hi, welcome back. Now, before we go any further, Steve, of our six finalists, the total value of prizes you have won so far, mate, is the greatest. £648 worth. <laughs> Those prizes are yours. Nobody can take them away from you, nor... Do we wish that they would? But we're going to match that sum of money that those prizes represent, and we're going to give it to this week's nominated charity, which is an organisation that supports a school for autistic children in Christchurch, Dorset, and they raise funds for, among other things, holidays, riding, and camping. Autistic children. <laughs> Very good, isn't it? Now then, as you can imagine, we get hundreds of requests to be included on this list, and naturally we cannot accommodate them all. It's impossible. But, interestingly enough, we also get requests for something else, and that is for a souvenir of this show, The Price is Right, so that you can then auction or raffle it for your particular cause. And that we are going to accommodate, because we are going to introduce the system of a raffle pack. Each week, a raffle pack will be given away. And the raffle pack consists of one of our Price is Right teddy bears, two Price is Right sweatshirts, and a prize up to the value of a one-bid prize. And certainly until Christmas is over, that prize will be one of our superb Christmas hampers. And this week, the raffle pack... This week, the raffle pack goes to a stroke unit appeal at the General Hospital in Nottingham. There we are. Great. Our showcase showdown elimination game this week is called Check the Difference, and this is how it's played. I'm going to ask you up to four questions, one at a time, based on the different prices charged for and wages earned for a different item or service. And incidentally, I must point out another little novelty this year. There is space in front of all your little places there for five digits. So any price up to £99,999 will be acceptable. Not that it will ever get that high, probably. But £100,000 is six digits, and if you do that, then you've blown it, OK? Just a little word of warning. I'm going to ask you, as I say, up to four questions. In each round, the contestant whose answer is furthest away from the correct answer sits down and is eliminated. In the event of a tied losing answer, both contestants are eliminated. And the event of this happening, when there are only three of you left, then we play a tiebreaker. At all events, the two contestants left standing at the end of the game go forward to our showcase final. Tonight, the categories are education, clothing, travel, and sport. The first question is on education, and is this. In 1967, the school fees at Eton were £614 per annum. What are they in 1987? Your answer in pounds only, please. Five seconds to write down your answer, starting now. <laughs> Elizabeth, tell me and show me your answer. 3200. Thank you, darling. 3200. Elaine. 5000. 5000 pounds, says Elaine. Steve, tell me and show me. 8000. 8000 pounds, says Steve. Thank you very much. Ken, what do you think? 4500. Thank you very much, Ken. 4500 pounds. Sydney. 2000 pounds, says Sydney. Pauline. 6,000 pounds, says Pauline. To send your boy to Eton in 1987 for one year, it will cost you £6,450. And Sydney, I regret, you must sit down. You are the furthest away. There you are. Take the weight off your feet. 
five contestants left. And this is the second question, it's based on clothing. This pair of men's bedroom slippers from a well-known chain store cost £9.99. pence. This pair of early 17th century gentleman's slippers in silk and silver thread were sold earlier this year at Phillips Auction Rooms in London. How much did they fetch? Your answer in pounds only, please. Five seconds to write down your answer starting now. Elizabeth, tell me and show me. But 300 pounds. 300 pounds, thank you, Elizabeth. Elaine. 750. Thank you, Elaine. That was your turn, 750 pounds. Steve. 1,500. Thank you, Steve. 1,500 pounds, Ken. 9,000 pounds. 9,000 pounds, says Ken. Well, well, well. Three. Pauline. 3,000 pounds. 3,000 pounds, says Pauline. Hard to believe, I know, but that obviously well worth it. Early 17th century gentlemen's slippers were auctioned early this year and they made 8,400 pounds and Elizabeth knows very well that she has to sit down. And the third question, four contestants left. Based on travel, the return coach fare London to Venice by National Express coaches is 101 pounds per person. How much will a cabin on the Orient Express cost for the same return journey? Your answer in pounds only, please. Five seconds to write down the answer, starting now. Elaine! Go on, have a go. It isn't a long time, is it? Elaine, tell me and show me your answer. 350 pounds. 350 pounds, thank you, Elaine. Steve, what do you think? 3,800 pounds. 3,800 pounds, thank you, Steve. Ken, what do you think? 1,500. 1,500 pounds, says Ken from South London and Pauline 5, from South End on Sea. 5,000. 5,000 pounds, thank you very much. The correct answer is 1,026 pounds. And Pauline, I regret to say that you are the furthest away. Sit down next to Sydney. That's right. Three contestants left. Only two will go forward to our showcase final. And this question should sort them out. It's based on sport, and this is it. In the 1987 World Darts Championships, the first round losers received 700 pounds. How much did John Lowe receive for winning the championship? Your answer in pounds only, please. Five seconds to write down your answer, starting now. Right, Elaine, tell me and show me your answer. 7,500. 7,500 pounds, thank you, Elaine. Steve? 60,000. 60,000 pounds, says Steve. Ken, what do you think? 16,000. 16,000 pounds, says Ken. When John Lowe won the 1987 World Darts Championship, the prize he received was worth £14,000. Steve, he knows he's got to sit down. Ken, stay where you are. Elaine, join Ken. You are both in our showcase final. Well, Elaine and Ken in our showcase final. We know you're married, Elaine. Do you have any children? No. You don't have any children? No. Do you hope to have some children? <laughs> yes, I'm two months pregnant. Are you? Yes. Oh, two months pregnant. Well, that's marvellous. Good. Ken, do you have any children? Yes, I have one. A daughter got... Jane. A daughter Jane. Yeah. Oh, she'll be very proud of you. That's good. Now then. Elaine, as you were the first of our contestants, uh, first of our two finalists, rather, to leave contestants row and join me to play a four game, yours is the choice of either bidding on the first showcase or passing the honours to Ken and bidding on the second showcase. Neither of these things can you decide, of course, until you have seen the first showcase. And your showcase tonight is the world. Yes, the Price is Right will take you and a companion on a voyage of a lifetime around the world. Starting off in Singapore, gateway to the east, discover this melting pot of nations and fascinating cultures. Then, travel on across the Pacific to Sydney, Australia. This exciting city has something for everyone, from the opera house to sun-drenched outdoor activities. Take your camera and cruise across the famous harbour. Or how about a little surfing while you're there? 
After all that activity, it's on to the South Pacific and tranquil Tahiti, a place to really relax in. Here you can lie back and do nothing. So if you want to be active, there's marvelous swimming and windsurfing. You have a week here, and then it's on again to the last leg of your tour across the ocean to Los Angeles, where you simply have to visit Disneyland and ride on a paddle steamer. And of course, Los Angeles means Hollywood and a chance to see the stars at home. Then it's back to England, full of wonderful memories of your holiday, if the price is right. <laughs> Now then, Elaine, what are you going to do? Are you going to bid on that showcase or pass the honours to Ken? I'm going to bid. You're going to bid. There you are. That's what it says. World trip. What is your bid, Elaine, without going over, remember that, on your showcase? £2,800. Pardon me? £2,800. Thank you, my love. £2,800. Good. Ken, we can now show you your showcase. Here's a popular way to take the whole family on holiday, a superb caravan. In shades of white, cream and beige with smart blue and gold coach lines, this luxurious home from home can easily sleep five people in comfort. Its interior is every bit as smart as its bodywork. The fitted furniture is beautifully finished in light oak veneer. The curtains, carpet and velour upholstery are in warm peach tones and even the kitchen sink and hob are color keyed to match. There's a fully fitted kitchen with hot plate, grill, oven and fridge. And when it comes to sleeping, there's a choice of double and single beds and bunks. Take it abroad with you or touring in Britain, its maximum payload is only 4.5 hundredweight so there's no strain on your car. And of course, you can always keep it in your garden as a useful extra addition to your home. And if you want to eat outside, pack this snazzy collapsible tubular steel patio set. All yours, if the price is right. Ken, what is your bid without going over on what has now become your showcase? £3,000. £3,000. Thank you very much indeed, Ken. Elaine, you bid £2,800 on your showcase. The actual price of your showcase is £3,968, a difference of £1,168. Ken, to win that caravan and all that goes with it, your difference has to be less, assuming it is not over, less than £1,168. You bid £3,000 on your showcase. The actual price of your showcase is £3,953. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Nice to see you. Oh. Elaine, you have won £100, a tea set, a cheese board, a leaf dish, a decanter, and that superb dishwasher. Plus, of course, the Price is Right teddy bear and that medallion that you are so beautifully wearing at the moment. Have you enjoyed yourself? Yes, it's been lovely, thanks. Oh, bless you. Good luck with the baby. Thank you. Wonderful. Now, sir, you have conquered the world. £100, a seagull lamp, a food processor, a vacuum cleaner, a patio set, all the stuff in that showcase, and that marauder caravan, all yours! Isn't that, good? <laughs> that is lovely. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next week when once again I will be able to say, come on down, the price is right. See you.